Okay guys, last time I showed you how to make this. It's an Arduino relay shield. So far so good, but this time we will make this. It's a solid state relay shield. So let's get started. So here's the diagram. Again, a rather simple one. We need um, two 1K resistors, an LED, it's just a um, control LED. We need a uh, opto isolator or opto coupler. The MOC3041 is perfect for this application because it has a built-in zero crossing circuit. We need a 470 ohm resistor. We need of course our triac which is in my case a 25 ampere triac. We need a capacitor to keep the noise of the switching low and of course we need some kind of um, screw terminals or terminal blocks. So here it is. Here is the triac. Noise suppression capacitor. The triac needs a heatsink. If you're switching a higher load. We have here our optocoupler MOC3041. Our control LED. Resistor for the LED. Current limiting resistor for the opto isolator. Current limiting resistor uh, again for the opto isolator 470 ohms as well as some screw terminals, terminal block, and of course, you need a piece of perf board. That's all you need. So here is the triac on its heatsink with a isolation silicon pad in between. So now let's check with the continuity tester if the heatsink is uh, isolated from the rest of the triac. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Next step is to solder the screw terminal um, to the uh, track and uh, remove all the unnecessary copper. The screw terminal is soldered in place and most of the copper is removed and now it's time for the optocoupler. Oh yeah, unfortunately I lost a few steps of the building process but here it is, the finished product. Uh, my solid state relay capable of uh, maximum 25 amps. Um, 240 watts. So let me quickly go through the components and explain what happened here. Here is my triac, 
25 amp triac uh, electrically isolated is the heatsink that's important otherwise um, the heatsink could become live it's dangerous here is our capacitor this capacitor is not really necessary for the function of the circuit but it it is for a noise suppression here is our uh, terminal block 220 volts here is the terminal block for our 5 volt signal from the microcontroller so if we use another signal voltage for instance 12 volt or 24 volt you have to replace these resistors here to a higher value here is the control LED with its 1K resistor here is the optocoupler with again its 1K resistor here is the 470 ohm resistor yeah there's nothing more to it that's all you need so I think it's time to test it out here it is my usual test setup starting with my 5 volt power supply for the Arduino Pro Mini signal cable goes to the solid state relay 5 volt here is my uh, 9 voltage coming in to 20 volts neutral goes to the motor directly that's a shaded pole motor and the hot wire goes via the solid state relay to the motor that's it for this one I hope you found it somewhat interesting if so leave me a like or subscribe to the channel and don't worry I have a bigger project upcoming so stay tuned about that and thanks for watching